the cat is out of the bag. In today's video, I'm going to be using the shoe, the secret best combo in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And just showing you guys exactly what makes it so good. Because you might be asking that right now, you know, like, I thought Yoshi Teddy, I thought Yoshi Mr. Scooty is the best combo. And yeah, I actually did just make a video about that not too long ago, literally the video before this one. Uh, but here's the thing is that I've been keeping this a secret for a long time, at least in my videos. I've used this combo plenty in my streams. And what makes it so good? It's kind of hard to describe, you know, it's kind of that intangible, that indescribable aspect that can't really be put into, you know, a numeric value to be compared to the other stats in this game, like the regular stats like speed and mini turbo. So I simply won't be comparing it. It just has that X factor, that clutch factor. And you guys will see exactly that in today's video. And this is actually called the sneaker, if you didn't know or the bounder, depending on what version you guys have. Uh, it is, of course, known as by the shoe, as it does resemble a sneaker. We're gonna have to star here for that red shell, unfortunately. Let's chomp this guy, because why not get up into first tier? And it looks like there's a red shell, and our horn is not out in time. We can go ahead and horn that player. But yeah, we're gonna showcase today exactly how good the shoe is because it is just unmatched in its skill. Nice shroomless cut there. We have this toad right on our backs. We have a bit of a lead double protection. That could probably secure the win here. I should have a bit of lead. There was just a blue shell a lap ago. I don't even know if it's been 30 seconds or not. We're just gonna hold on here and let the shoe carry us to victory. And yeah, it looks like we get the first in the first race. That's just the shoe in action, everybody. So stay tuned for more. So you may be wondering if the shoe can be used with just any character. And you would be wrong if you thought that the shoe only has a couple characters which really, you know, utilize that X factor. Uh, it's kind of not like the PD Landship build, which I made a video on recently, but you basically have to use that exact combo and anything else is just not going to give you the same results. With the shoe, there is a little bit more variety, more variability, if you will. Um, and that is in the form of a couple of different Koopalings. You know, you have Wendy Koopa and you have Morden Koopa, as well as Ludwig. And really, any of those characters will yield pretty similar results in my experience. Of course, you also have to make sure we get the Snipe. Uh, but you also make sure to use the Standard or the Blue Standard tires as well, as those really, you know, complement the build. The aesthetic factor is through the roof. These players both stopping out, even though that player had the in there that was really confusing i got super distracted by that we end up getting hit by the blast there we'll see if we can make the comeback we get the horn ourselves and we're gonna have to use it right away as there is a red shell incoming but like i said we're gonna see how many wins we can rack up in today's video with this shoe i expect there to be quite a few given uh you know my experience on this combo let's just go ahead and throw that because we need to catch up and go ahead and use our super horn there See what we can get. We're gonna get red shelled. I shouldn't have used the horn, although I probably would have chained it into the set anyway, so it doesn't really make a difference. A little bit unlucky with the timing there. Uh, but it looks like we can maybe pass a player here, maybe not, maybe even two. And finish up in fifth place, so not too bad at all. We have Paris this time, yet another city track. I was really hoping to get more bagging tracks, as that is really where the shoe will shine, if you will. And let's see how we can do. Maybe a little bit better than last time. Uh, but I don't, I don't know if I mentioned this yet, but of course, sometimes, you know, I might not be playing the best. I might, you know, hit walls like I did there, lose my mini turbo. And I can assure you guys that is not the shoe. That is my doing. 100% I will take responsibility. Because the shoe really can do no wrong. Why is there a Tanuki Mario like way behind, like a whole lap behind already? That is crazy. You gotta watch it for that green shell. Yeah, the room I'm in has really high VR. I feel like, I don't know if it's just me. Let me know in the comments if you guys have experienced this as well. But I feel like in the last couple weeks, maybe the last like month or so, it is a lot easier to find a high VR room. As before that, I found I often get matched with like a lot of 10k, 15k players. Uh, but recently, I feel like I've been only getting like 20k plus. Now, that might just be because of my VR personally. 
as I'm around like 26,000 right now. Uh, whereas before, you know, I was, you know, under 25, between 20 and 25, so maybe it was matching with like lower rated players. Uh, but yeah, recently it has been way easier to find these lobbies, pretty much like no matter what. I always get paired with like a really stacked lobby, which is nice. Definitely no complaints. Like I really do hate lobby surfing, like especially when I'm streaming or when I'm trying to find a good lobby for it, these videos. It is definitely a lot better just to kind of, you know, jump into a worldwide and like instantly get paired with a really good lobby. And wow, we are just getting comboed here. Pulling a bunch of fire flowers. We didn't get the shock dodge. We're going to play for the boxes here. We're going to bump like crazy. I'm going to wait for the double. I knew they're both going for that. Golden Star, this could be good, although there won't be another shock as there already was one. And I don't know how, but the top three players have completely broken away from the pack. And we are all just left here together. That's not a bad pull. Everyone else is going to get mushrooms ahead of me, though, so I really don't expect much to happen here. As, yeah, we're basically... I guess I end up passing, like, a person, but we get passed on the line, and we finish in seventh. Oh, we're back. Animal Crossing. I'm a little bit disappointed we have not gotten a proper bagging track yet. Of course, we did have Sunset Wilds earlier, uh, but since then, you know, it's been nothing but city tracks and Animal Crossing. I think what I'm going to do is actually switch it up. I find that when you are not experiencing the luck you should be with the shoe, that means it is time to switch it up to another Koopaling character. We're going to go over to Wendy Koopa and see if that can yield better results. But until then, we're going to see what we can do. When we get the snipe on that player, we cannot Got greedy there, get red shelled as a result. Again, definitely all on my end, nothing to do with the shoe combo. Okay, let's try to get some coins. I actually missed all of them there. And there's an early shock. Wow, another shock that is not dodged by the shoe. What is happening today? Maybe I am just cursing the shoe by making this video. You know, the shoe luck was better hidden from the world. And now that I'm using it right now, it's just all coming crashing down. It certainly seems that way so far, you know, we have been getting comboed like every single race the last couple of races, uh, but the pack is close. There's lots of race yet, and I don't want to get lag trailed by those greens, so we're going to go ahead and star up. We can go ahead and wait for the double box there, hopefully get another good pull. But yeah, I have literally one coin. I just picked it up, and we are not in a great spot, not in a terrible spot. We'll see what we can get at this next pull. That player's a red shell, so I can't really pass them unless I get protection, and I... Do not pull anything. I feel like this happened last video too. If you guys saw that race on Sky High Sunday, I pulled, I think it was 33 mushrooms in a single race. Also, my green just simply didn't come out in time there. And I feel like I've been pulling like nothing but mushrooms in this race as well. And as soon as I get the protection I need, we get red shelled anyways, because it just does not come out in time. And we can hopefully get something good. Now we just get the single shroom. So yeah, I think Ludwig is cursed, but maybe Wendy will yield some better results. And we're back this time with Wendy on the shoe in a new lobby, a bagging track. Look at that, literally everybody in the room is Yoshi or a similar character to Yoshi. We have a, a Peach, a Tanuki Mario, and you have me on the shoe. Yes, they really don't know how good the shoe truly is. And I'm hoping to showcase that. I feel like... Like I mentioned, I might have cursed the shoe by making this video. But there's still lots of races left, and we can see, you know, what happens. And if we can, you know, get the shock dodge, get the comeback, and do some bagging. It is nice to finally get, you know, like a proper bagging track, like I said. And we'll see what we can do. Okay, blue shell is in that player's hand. We can hold on to this bill maybe for a while. We have the 10 coins as well. Actually, I think what I'm going to do here is chain these at the set. Use the bill in the shortcut. Ooh, the crazy eight in the pocket. This could be good. Is it going to drop me before the set? It will not. Uh, but what I'm going to do is just spam everything so we can have some more invincibility. And we can red shell that player, get the double box. There's not going to be a shock, it looks like. And we are in no better position. I think I might drop out here and actually bag some more. I typically do like to do that on this track. As I find nothing really matters until like the very end of lap three anyways. You want to make sure, you know, you either get a shock dodge late or you have something to take the ending shortcut. I'm going to red shell that player when they're in 11th. That is awful. Uh, but we can see what we can get. Okay, we have 
the gold, and this should end before the next set. Watch it for all these greens. Wow, there are so many green shells flying all over the place. Okay, now's about the time when there would be a shock. I'm going to make sure I hang back here and get another box in ninth place, not pass anyone here. Okay, no shock, at least for me to dodge. We can go ahead and chain up the set. We're still in ninth. Perfect. We get another star. Yeah, that player got the Piranha Plant in eighth. That is exactly why you want to be in ninth place and not eighth place when you get the boxes there. Go ahead and hold on to these shrooms for now. Use one. Gotta watch it for the boomerang. No, the boomerang just barely clips me. That's a horn. We're gonna shroom up here. And I'm actually too fast. That player was too slow, if you will. I'm gonna shroom right into them and lose all my progress. We're gonna drop all the way down into 10th place. And we're back on Tokyo Blur against the entire country of Japan. And this one player from Denmark, of course. Uh, but I'll go ahead and showcase just how good this shoe is. A room full of Yoshi, Teddy Yoshi Biddy, with home court advantage. And we're still gonna prevail here. Gonna watch out for all these lag trails, especially with all the Japanese lag. It's really unpredictable, really hard to keep up. And let's go for Shroomless Cut. We do have the protection. Yeah, we can lag trail that player. We can lag trail another player. Fortunately, I missed the box there. Did that red shell just get broken by a random green? It did, but then there's two more greens. And one of them catches up to us there. Okay, I definitely need some points. We're gonna get redded again while they're out to get me, it seems like, with all these red shells already. Let's just hang back in a box. I was in eighth place. Okay, we do get triple shrooms. I really need some coins here. And I will also just go wide for the double box. Let's go wide for these coins. Actually, I want to chain that right away. I don't think I'll be able to in time, actually. No, I won't. I'll only get a single box here. That's okay, though. I'm gonna play it wide. Oh no, that player's gonna go for the coins. Okay, they only took one. There's a ghost in a crazy eight. There's one coin over here. I'm just going to stick her really wide right now. Hopefully let that player pass me. Okay, we get the box in ninth, which is perfect. We get the star. Now would be a perfect time for the shock dodge. Although there's like five people, including me, in a star right now. So maybe not. Maybe now would be a perfect time. If there is going to be shock. I feel like there's been a criminally low amount of shocks in today's video. And I've definitely not been on the receiving end. Okay, now is the time for the shock, right? Well, it looks like literally nothing is going to happen, and I will keep my fourth place. We're back on dry, dry desert. Really a good track to let the shoe shine, if you will. This is probably the biggest bagging track in the game, I would say. Maybe this or at Cheeseland. This just has so much off-road that it's really hard to compare it to like any other track as like half the map is just like potential shortcuts. And there is that Tanuki Mario running, which is perfect. So that means we can just take our time and do some bagging here. Gotta get up to 10 coins. As always, gotta watch out for all these shells flying all around. Well, that player most got hit. I guess they was a little bit laggy and they did not. And I'm gonna get green shell too on. There's just so many greens all over the place. Okay, I'm gonna bill right away. I was hoping it actually go wide there. I didn't realize it went through the center. As I was hoping to get some coins. Yeah, we only have one coin. And I'm going to start the golden timer, but then I'm going to back up here and try to get some more items. Like I said, I really need some coins here as I have basically nothing. Okay, there's a shock. That's fine that we got hit before the set. Yeah, I'm just golden right away to recover. Try to maybe get some of these coins on the ground that were dropped from other players that got shocked. And I think because there was a shock already, I can go ahead and stop to bag at this set as well as, yeah, it looks like a couple other players are... Indeed, we can go ahead and do that. Make sure to hop to get back up to top speed. Go for these coins. And I think I can star again. I do hear a star like right on top of me. No, I guess that was just a player just ahead of me there. Uh, but ideally, I'd get like a star or triple shrooms in the pocket here. Okay, that's pretty good as we have the gold. And if I can save this for the cat. Oh no, we get starred. I feel like everyone's going out of their way to hit me in this room the last couple of races. Uh, but unfortunately, that is really bad for us. I was going to try to slow down for the set. I missed it just a little bit. We can hold on to these triple mushrooms. We almost get started. Wow, that was really close. This player is the blue shell. They're bumping me too. We can just watch out for the blue. It's probably going to be thrown like right now. Yeah, it finally was. Watch out for the bill here. And this could be good for us. I mean, ideally, I'd like want like the whole room to pass me here. As Oh, actually, we did hit them with the green shell. Looks like we got revenge on the player that started me. Oh, this is a really good pull. Okay, we have to go right away. Oh no, there's a red shell coming for me. The shoe is having the inverse luck today, it seems like, as literally everything is going wrong. Everything that can go wrong will go wrong. And I'm going to miss the double. That player was so slow. I think they got hit just before the set. We get the shock dodge, though. 
but unfortunately I don't have any items to take the shortcut. But I'm still going to be in third. I guess everyone else got hit after this set as well. Can we pass this Peach player at the very end? We barely just won't. And we get the third. And we're back. Mushroom Gorge. I think the track section has definitely picked up in the last few races with Wendy Koopa. The good news is we still have another Koopaling to try. We're going to switch over to Morden after this next race. We're in yet another bagging track. I think this track is more in the middle where you can bag or run. Uh, but I feel like generally you will have better luck of bagging, of course, on this track. As the ending shortcut is just so important. If you're not taking it, you're at a huge disadvantage. That is, unless you are, of course, in first with quite a lead. And we'll see what we can do. Get another start. Shrooms that we can chain at the next set. And hopefully get another shock dodge. Maybe our shock dodge streak has started here. As we got the late shock dodge at the end of the last race. And I'm going to fly up. I always do that. That is definitely a skill issue on my part where I always forget that you can't super bounce the same way with uh, a star when you're using a star as you just have way more momentum. And I'll just completely fly off the track. Uh, but let's get back up to 10 coins. This is a really good pull for the cave so I can hold this as it goes pretty far over the shrooms typically if you don't pass too many players. And oh, we get the shock in the pocket too. So I can go ahead and spam this as soon as I'm done. Now, the only problem is that I will not get a box here yet. It's going to pass this box, so it might actually not be that great. We'll give that player the dodge in front of us. Now, this will help us catch up at least. I should get a good box here as I am in ninth place. Uh, but I'm really not too close to the front, so maybe I'll get another good box at the next double set anyways. Yeah, we get the triple shrooms. That is great. Like little off-road cut there. Make sure we get the double box here. And we get the golden bill. And I'm going to spam the golden because I really do need to catch up and I really want to use this bill right away. There shouldn't be another shock here, uh, but I don't know if I'll be able to get a box. Let's just spam it. We actually do get a box. It's going to take me past the shortcut though. Yes, it is. As long as this takes me around the corner, I will be happy with that. Uh, but I actually don't gain these spots. I keep my six. It is time for the moment you have all been waiting for. Morden, Chew, Bagging Track, New Lobby, what more could you ask for? There's really Yoshi Circuit out of all them, one of my favorites without a doubt. And it is time, you know, the rest of the races were kind of a warm up for this moment right here. The true power unleashed, as you guys saw, you know, my luck was varied. Kind of seemed like an off day for the shoe. But here's the reality, there are no off days. The shoe is there at all times. And well, we're going to see that with Morton. Maybe I was just using the wrong character. Maybe I had you guys fooled. That the shoe really isn't that good. And I guess we're going to find it. Let's steal that player's box. Okay, we don't get the bill, the bullet bill. The billet bull, what am I even saying? So we're going to go ahead and just wait here. We have 10 coins. We can just kind of chill for now. Maybe get a double box here. The fire hits me. It doesn't matter. We are rocking the shoe. Everything's going to be all right. We keep pulling goldens though. This is kind of insane. The game is against me, but you know, it's kind of a, a tug of war, right? With Nintendo trying to make me lose, this shoe is there to make me win. And of course, the shoe will always win that battle. And yeah, we get another gold. That's like, what, four goldens already? But it will not be enough to stop the shoe. I'm telling you guys, just wait and see. And go ahead and get the coin there. We can wait at the double. That's another green. They miss me. I'm prepared for anything the game might throw at me now. All right, blue shell is out. Let's go wide here. Honestly, let's go ahead and use this crazy eight. And then I'm going to stop bag like one more time here. And we still don't get the bullet bill. I guess the game is really against me, guys. Trying their hardest. We have five goldens in one race. That is not even comprehensible. But we have the shoe to propel us here. We don't get the dodge. We don't need the dodge. We can just go ahead and boomerang all the competition here. And get something amazing at the last set to win us the race. Okay, we get the double. We get the Piranha Plant Fire Flower. Wow, Nintendo is really trying their hardest to make me lose here. And it might just work, honestly, as we're going to drop down to fifth. But we'll get them next time. Yet another bagging track with the shoe. Is that the old JPG combo, Wario Mr. Scooty? What is going on? I haven't seen that for a very long time. Uh, we're going to showcase, you know, the shoe's power. It's about time Nintendo's been trying their best to nerf the shoe for today's video. We get the banana snipe. Uh, but I'm here to prove Nintendo wrong and how good the shoe really is. We're going to keep the positivity going, of course. 
as the shoe really never lets me down in the long run that is you know race to race it might seem that way the shoe is always there and okay we can wait we're in ninth first is a bit ahead anyways oh, we get another golden how many goldens is that in this video i had the mushroom counter for my sky high sunday race in the last video in this video i feel like i need a golden counter i know i got like what five in that last video. we get another golden are you kidding me nintendo they really don't want this shoe to win it is super obvious normally they're more subtle when they don't want you to win but uh this is kind of just like when i was trying to hit 20k in my road to 20k series and nintendo is just trying their hardest to deny me my rightful vr and that's what it feels like today you know they really don't want you guys to know about the shoe maybe it was a mistake to reveal the secret we get the single mushroom i think that was an eighth place box that's why i'll just go ahead and burn the bill take the scenic route over here with this other japanese player and i think maybe i'll stop to bag at the next set there's another green shell coming for me yeah we can go ahead and do that as i'm in eighth oh no i didn't actually drive forward enough okay there we go what do we get we get this star we get another golden i'm gonna use that right away there is that wario player in the back there's another player in a boo it looks like i don't see any shocks there should be a shock here i would think soon as there hasn't been one yet this is a longer course too and okay we're in seventh are we gonna get a good pull here as first is pretty far up i kind of want to wait i don't want to you know find out if i'm gonna get a good pull i'll just make sure i get a good pull in 10th here and we get the blue shell unfortunately i think i'm gonna have to go wide here and go for the double box and then we can just go all in on the shortcut and we get yet another golden mushroom nintendo really doesn't want me to win right now um, we're gonna do our best here to see if we can get a good spot we get the triple greens will it be enough can i snipe that player in the air i think we didn't get them and we get another fifth okay yoshi valley another bagging track or at least most people like to bag on this track i think it's good for either running or bagging and yet another track where nintendo is going to give me like six golden mushrooms because i'm bagging i can almost guarantee it honestly at this point feels like whenever i'm using the shoe this video the golden mushroom is a guarantee let's see how many can we get oh we get a star already okay that's pretty good but of course you know crazy eight bullet bill star shock is what we want not the golden mushroom we are in ninth right now i think there's only what 10 players in this room I have to keep that in mind as the item limit does change slightly depending on how many players are in the room i think we're good to be in eighth place for a box instead of the normal you know 9th 10th 11th 12th is what you want to be in and oh wow we actually have not pulled a golden yet to my surprise there is an early blue i'm going to take the most pointless shortcut in the game which is really not a shortcut at all i don't think and let's hold this bill for a little bit maybe and wow we get perfectly green that was just like i could see that happening in slow motion i just could not go anywhere so i think i'll use the bill yeah we get the star okay this is like the anti-golden pull now i basically can pull everything but the golden mushroom unfortunately the bill is gonna end just after the set there i think i'll hang back here maybe get a shock dodge if there's gonna be a shock probably not uh, but i'll just wait for it the next set there's a herd of green yoshis in the front of the pack couple players back here with me so yeah i'm gonna drop out let these players pass me get into the back what can we get we got a, a blue shell another blue shell already wow that's two this race i don't think i'm gonna make the shroomless cut here actually i'm like just barely gonna make it that was pretty close uh, but first has a bit of a lead the blue connects i don't know they actually dodged it it looks like as they just went right through it there and we're gonna hope for the best we don't get billed that's like the worst place to pull a bill as it always takes like the slowest route on this track in my experience uh, this golden should expire before the next set though i'm gonna make sure we get the double here and oh that's an amazing pull yeah they got triple reds in front of us that was definitely an eighth place box we get the box we wanted let's go ahead and chain the star here we can red shell that player is there gonna be a shock we need the shock dodge now more than ever but it looks like that is just not gonna happen i feel like these bananas are coming back let's go ahead and plant and we are safe from the back i knew they were gonna back me there and we get the third la laps for the next race there's actually the track where it's better to be in the back so i oftentimes just don't get the startup boost on purpose when i'm starting on the front line so that you can grab a mushroom here because there's a super broken shortcut i'm not sure let me know in the comments if you guys know if there's actually like a specific term for this type of track so of course you have front running tracks where better you know it's better to be in the front bagging tracks where it's better to drop out and bag 
What is a track like this called where it's better to simply, you know, be in the back at the start of the race so you can get a shroom to take a shortcut to get in first? I'm not sure, but hey, it worked. You know, we're in first. We have the shroom. I don't have very many coins, though, because I unfortunately did start in the front of the pack. So it is, of course, better if you start in a bottom spot there as you will have more coins. And we're going to hit, I think that was fire. We have iframes. We're going to get hit by the same fire again. And I guess we can just slow down. We have no coins already. There's more fire. There's so much item spam in this room. It's coming from every which direction. Uh, that's a really good pull, though. We can go ahead and shroom up here just so I don't get starred. And I'm not going to take the shortcut. There's too many items all around me. I really just wanted to get my triple shells out there. Have some protection. Yeah, we did trail someone. We can go ahead and send these backwards and hit someone as they have been backing everything. I think we actually took out two players there. We can just shroom up as well. What are my lines? I'm going to actually throw there. But it was perfect timing as we went just around that player with the star. We can go ahead and bomb them here. Wow, their star just barely ran out after they went through the bomb. That was super close. We had a perfect throw though. Yeah, that's an interesting shock. Actually pretty good timing for us as we can get the box there. We almost get hit with the star. The star actually hits my plant there but did not hit me funny enough. We're gonna go ahead and throw these reds forward. Take out everybody. Take the glider path. Get a double box here. We need something good. We had another plant. That is the worst pull because I won't be able to chain it in time for the next set. And now I'm gonna be stuck with nothing for the end of the race. We are able to use the shroom there. I'm gonna completely miss the shroomless cut though. And hopefully I don't get passed by too many players. We're getting shroom boosted, but yeah, everyone else has like shrooms and stars here. And I will drop all the way down to sixth place. Ooh, Moo Meadows, not exactly the track I was looking forward to finishing out the video with. But hey, here we are. It was bound to happen eventually in a sea of Yoshi Teddy, Yoshi Scooty, Yoshi Biddy. We are the lone shoe. And we're going to take over one more time here so we can get another good spot. I don't think I've even got a first place the whole race. Nintendo has really been against me as I've just gotten the worst item pulls of all time, apparently. That's just Nintendo's way of saying that the shoe is too powerful. It must be nerfed. So even though I was saying how it has that intangible X factor, it has not been working out for me today. Or maybe that's all part of the plan, right? Just tell you guys that this is the best combo show you guys that it's not and kind of trick you guys into thinking that you guys shouldn't use the shoe and I can keep all the shoe luck to myself. I don't know. Maybe that's the case. Maybe it's not. I guess we'll find out. We have one more race to showcase how good the shoe is. What was that? That was like a side trick. I've never seen that before. Only the shoe could make something like that happen. And I need some more points. Let's just get rid of that. Take out our triple protection. If that player had some protection. The blue shells up. I think first has a horn here. Hopefully I can pull a shroom at this next set. We can see what will happen. Yeah, they horn the blue. We're going to go ahead and throw that green. Snipe the cow. Hit another cow with my other green. Back that shell. They're going to red me. What is going on? We can't get the double. That banana was perfectly in the way. And yeah, that is pretty much the race right there. We can go ahead and just green shell that player that was shrooming up by me. That player is going to get redded. Did they get hit? I think they did, but can I pass them here? It's going to be just too late as we snipe them after the line. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.